When I use the tap to type method, it's going to pick up my default font. Let's look how to set a default font so it could be exactly what you want every time you tap and type. So if I click the A box here, I've got some presets, just like my car preset. My default font is going to be the one in the top left corner. So I've got that selected because it's light blue right now. Now I'm gonna go to my properties tab on the left side. And when I click textile, you're gonna notice that something is grayed out in the bottom where it says save tool properties. Once I start changing my properties, I'll be able to save this as a default. So maybe I want it to be blue. Maybe I want it to be a different um, font. This time we'll use Century Gothic. And I want it to be 28. Now that save tool properties is not grayed out. And when I choose that, it'll save this tool to that first presets in my font choices. Save. We actually see that changed up here so it's a different font and blue. And now, anytime I tap and type, it will be Century Gothic and Purple. Sign up for a basic account at opd.tech.com for more great smart skills videos. <laughs>